Hi Scorpio, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. This is going to be what are their true intentions in love, Scorpio. So this is a, a relationship reading. You don't really have to be with that person. You can just be connected to them somehow. Romantic connection. Maybe you're with them in the past, but trying to get down to the bottom of the situation between you guys. So let's get a couple cards from Wisdom of the Oracle and Deep Knowing. And yeah, this card really is... Uh, much like, for me, much like the High Priestess, deep knowing, because that's what the High Priestess does. She knows with all her intuition and, right, her deep knowing. And interestingly enough, Scorpio, you are the High Priestess, right? Yeah, so the, that card is uh, relevant, right? Yeah, let's get another card for Scorpio and their person. Let's see. This could be yours or their card. It's going to depend. I feel like that's you, deep knowing. And never-ending story. So never-ending story, uh, the fairy here is kind of fed up or sad or unhappy or she's had enough. Yeah, and she keeps going through the same cycle or the same situation over and over again. It actually uh, reduces to a 10, right? right? Which we know is a completion or an ending, okay? Some type of an ending, some type of a completion, doesn't have to always mean, you know, the the end of your union, but it is some type of completion and not for you. Okay, so Scorpio, you and your person, uh, maybe it's not meant to be or maybe it was, but it's not now, right? Yeah, I feel like, you know, this looks like, like, you know, it's not for you and you know, whatever's going on between you and your person will continue to happen. Yeah, that's pretty, yeah, it'll continue to uh cycle around kind of right yeah let's see let's get a couple shuffles in for Scorpio on their person and see what we have the psychic mediums of the world and their person whoever that person is right let's see what we have for Scorpio and their person okay we'll get one more and mm-hmm okay Turn these cards over. I don't feel like this is really part of the reading, these other decks. No, I feel like they are not. Let's see what we got. Bottom of the deck, the sun card. Uh, with this deep knowing card, somebody has some serious clarity, okay, about the situation. Could be a Leo involved. And uh, we're going to go ahead and cut these cards first before we kind of put them out. Yeah, it would be be good. <laughs> right now, Scorpio, the Hierophant showing up, the Ace of Cups, the Judgment card, wow, and the Queen of Swords. I feel like you're asking yourself about a relationship here. It's exactly what you're doing. You could be uh, questioning your own relationship, uh, whether or not it is for you or good for you or not for you, something like that. The fortune telling, the fortune uh, cookie is right here. Yeah, they used to be legit. Now they're uh, chain fortune. A lot of them are from chains, and it's like ridiculous, right? Taking, they take everything away in this country. Yeah, they do. Uh, they're trying to take away things right now. Uh, yeah, called uh, dead echos. R I G H T S. That's what they're trying to do. See what we got. And uh, and for your person, they have the two of cups in the reverse. So let's see here, and the Hierophant showing up. Let's look at your energy, Scorpio. I feel like you know something here. Yeah, you know something's not right with your union. This could be, you know, it's going to depend. Maybe, uh, you know, this is not for you. Maybe this is another union, but definitely you're questioning another union. You're questioning your union here, or whoever you're dealing with, or whoever you're with, or whoever you are thinking about. You're questioning it. You could be challenging challenging them too. I want the truth. The Queen of Swords looks for the truth. All right? Yeah, she does. She still does, even though the world is so corrupt. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's see what we got. And let's look at your energy, uh, Scorpio. Let's see what you're questioning over here. Let's get a card. And the Ace of Cups is here, the Hierophant, and Judgment. You, this could be about, you could be giving somebody a second chance in love right? For a new beginning in love, and you could be questioning your person if they are doing that. They have the three of swords. It looks like a third party here with the two of cups in the reverse. They look like they're, they're doing something here, and you look like you're questioning it. So your, your question here is, yes, uh, you could be questioning them on if they are like 
trying to have success with somebody or trying to have victory with somebody is the right way to say it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It could be a, a, a Taurus here. Let's look at your person's energy. They have the moon. Why do they have the moon? The star, the moon and the star. Interestingly enough, the star is a beautiful card and the moon is can be Pisces or Cancer, but it's it's not a it's not a nice card. It's a bit of a negative card. It's about cycles, but it's about sadness, fear, uh, doubts, illusion and lies. Yes, yeah, secrets, basically. Mm -hmm. Four of Pentacles. I feel like your person has a secret they're trying to hold on to over here. And you're questioning it. Why is the Two of Cups in the reverse for them? Let's see that. Let's see why that's there. Okay, this could be you, this High Priestess here. It could be a secret, though. Scorpio, it could. This is kind of the issue with this card. You guys rule that card as the psychic mediums of the world. But it also means secrets, right? Or anything of the occult, uh, right? Yeah, it can. And so it can be, you know, using your intuition. So it's kind of all about that, right? If it's going to be about uh, kind of uh, psychic powers, right? And, you know, it can be anything that kind of, you know, that covers, right? Or that uh, embodies mm -hmm, esoteric energy. Or anything of the occult, intuition, etc., and secrets. And in their desire position, you're trying to figure your business out here, Scorpio. That's what you're trying to do, all right? And let's see, in their desire position is the Knight of Cups. Why do they have that? The Knight of Swords and the Ten of Swords. Your person, uh, they want they want like a love offer. Yeah, they want to give somebody. Yeah, they want a union. They want a relationship. They want this two of cups. It's in the reverse. And this could be also, this could be your union with them. Like a breakup, two of cups in the reverse. And the ace of wands, I feel like they want this. For some of you guys, they want it with you. But for some, for some, other, for some you know, for some other Scorpios, if I could spit that out, they want it with somebody else. And this is why, Scorpio, I feel like you're going through a never-ending never story with them. It's not a good one uh, with this card, not for you, right? I feel like these are your cards. And you know, you know because over here you are discerning the situation. And when I say questioning, I mean discerning. Yeah, it can be both, right? You can question yourself. Which is the same thing as discerning. Like, well, you know, let me think about this. Let me, you know... Let me, yeah, let me reflect on that because, yeah. And let's get one card. Let's get a card from this deck here. And this is the Chakra Wisdom Oracle cards for Scorpio and their person. And you guys feel free to switch the reading because this is how they roll in uh, in these readings. This energy down here is supposed to be your person's and this is yours, but we can still switch them because that's the way it is, all right? Until further notice, you guys, until kind of, you know, <laughs> somebody makes a new deck, really. Let's see. Let's get a card here. Forgiveness. Somebody wants forgiveness. You could be... I feel like what you are doing is you are asking them, okay, you could be, for some of you guys, you're asking them for forgiveness or you want a second chance with them. But I feel like really what it is with this not for you and this ten of swords down here, right, for your person, you are discerning whether or not they are forgiving somebody else. And what I mean by that is whether or not they are granting somebody a second chance or a rebirth, uh, or a reconciliation. I don't like to say rebirth. It's like, but it is because the angel is here, right? Yeah, it's a kind of an ascension, an ascension to higher consciousness. Uh, the judgment can be, can simply be a decision too, right? Judgment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
So we're going to go over to Vimeo, Scorpio, and see all about your person. Yeah, that daredevil person you're dealing with. <laughs> and we're going to talk all about the underlying energies, how they really feel about you, Scorpio. And also, the challenges or the blocks, maybe to better navigate those, right? Yeah, and what they're hiding, what they're fearing, and their true intentions. Yeah, and they're all super affordable. If you guys want to cross-watch, yeah, you can. You can do that if you need your own reading. You can always get one, and uh, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And, uh, yeah, go look up UN21 uh, on YouTube. I would urge you to do that. Thank you so much for, uh, for you know, watching my videos, you guys. God bless, and please, no comments about anything besides tarot, all right? Sending you guys all my hugs, and, yeah, and, uh, yeah, and God bless, guys.